Let's go over how to crop an individual layer using Photoshop. In my example here, I have one layer with the original full color image, and then I have another layer on top of it, which is just a duplicate copy of the image in black and white. For this demonstration, I will be cropping the black and white layer. So in order to do this, we're going to have to create a clipping mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new layer to this image here. I'm going to click this little plus icon down here to add a new layer. And then I want to fill this layer with black. So I'll go to edit and I'll go to fill. And where it says contents, make sure you choose black from this drop down right here like that and then click OK. And now this layer will be filled with black. So what we want to do now is take this black layer and position it beneath the layer we'd like to crop. So I'm going to click and drag this layer beneath the uh, black and white layer right here. And then I want to click on the layer that I'd like to uh, crop and then right click it and go to create clipping mask. Now what you can do is you can click on the black layer and open the unified transform tool by pressing control T on your keyboard. Make sure to uncheck this little lock icon right here to uh, undo the proportions. And then what you can do is you can now use these nodes right here to crop your layer like this. And as you can see, the layer is being cropped based on how I move these handles like that. And there you go. And once you're finished, you can select your layer, right click it and go to merge down and your changes will be finalized. That is how you can crop an individual layer using Photoshop. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Illustrator Explainer series. It's a collection of over 100 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Adobe Illustrator and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work, kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.